For those of you who are advanced in crystal radio construction, I've put out a couple different spider web coil forms and they are very similar. They're the same size. So they're eight centimeters from outside diameter to a four centimeter inside diameter. Same over here. The main difference is this one, I've removed as much plastic out of it as possible. Uh, it will make the coil, the finished coil, especially if you're using Litz wire, uh, it will uh, make it a lot uh, more efficient. And this one is much stronger, obviously, has much more plastic. I have not experimented with these yet. Uh, these are just uh, something I have copied off the internet. And I have done them in threes. So you can see over here, I've got two more of these sitting back here and two more of these sitting over here. And what you do is you have one is connected to the antenna, one is a filter, and one is connected to the radio. And the filter goes between the antenna coil and the radio coil. And you may say, what is the benefit of the spiderweb coil? And I'm still researching that. But if we look at a regular coil like that, this coil has a lot of capacitance in it. And if you try to build a, a crystal radio by taking a coil like this and hooking a capacitor to it, I have had a lot of fails trying, it doesn't work. And as it turns out, if you do the math, the, the linear coil has uh, just too much capacitance to begin with. And so when you add a, another capacitor to it, you're just outside the range. So, yeah, uh, but because the spiderweb coils have very low capacitance for a reason I'm still researching and I'll go over more when I have uh, I've learned more about it and can share that. Um, yeah, you can connect a one of these variable capacitors to one of these spiderweb coils and you can make a tunable crystal radio out of it that works. At least this is what I'm told. So this is where I'm going to go with this. I've still got some other experimentation going on, but again, if you're kind of ahead in the game and you want to use these, uh, I have them out online and I'll put the link in the description below. Okay. Well, that was it for right now. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your home crystal radio experimentation.